All right. The last one that so frequently comes up that we want to provide some sage advice on is how to effectively deal with those challenging questions, sometimes objections in the moment. Uh, Nicole, how about if you kick us off? If a question comes, the first thing I always, always do is I repeat the question. Um, sometimes I even, well, change it, but more in my life, in my style that I'm thinking, am I thinking already in what you're thinking? So I'm also confirming saying, so what are you saying? You're asking me how to handle difficult questions. So this is literally what I'm doing now, uh, as you just asked me, Carrie. And, um, and then of, of course I'm looking at the person or either on video or, uh, in the room. And then, of course, I see them nodding or I see them looking very difficult. But, and then my next question would be, so apparently I didn't get it right. Can you elaborate a little bit more? And so they will continue a little bit. So that gives me, again, more time to, let's say, find a good answer. Because it could be that the person is upset about something and he, that he or she really wants to get the voice heard. Um, so sometimes not even giving an answer or just by listening is already enough. Um, but at, acknowledge the person, uh, 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 making sure that yes, you understand, you give an answer. And then by the end, even saying, did I answer the question? Because if it's not, of course, you need to give it either more time or saying, you know what, I would really give you, let me give you more time. Can you please wait after the session and I'll... I'll sit with you and, and continue on this because I think it's really important. And then mm. that acknowledging even the person, yes, I'm taking it very serious, but then of course the scariness comes. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things you, you're you talking about is getting to the question behind the question. Uh, Ralph, I saw you had something you wanted to add. What I learned over the years is to differentiate between what sounds like a challenging question but it's not really challenging, it's more direct, potentially because of culture. Germany comes to mind with very direct questions and a really challenging question. And the first one is more, just take it like any other question. Um, as they call it, paraphrasing always helps to get some clarity there. And then you often realize people are so eager to learn more that they forgot to sugarcoat um, the question. If it's a really challenging one, I would judge in the moment to see, does it fit here? Does it make sense? Or is that person trying to take over and then find a nice way to either postpone it to afterwards, to focus on someone else, do it in a nice and gentle way. Um, don't start a confrontation. Make sure you're as the speaker or the leader. And based on my experience, it helps because the second category is so rare. The first one happens way more often. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very true. Chris, um, it's 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 what everyone's saying, but here's here's an actual example. I call it the technique of take the blow, take the blow. If it's one of those tough ones, and it happened to me, so I was presenting up, and I was asking for head count, and I got this question. So, Chris. If you just managed your people better, you wouldn't need extra headcount, right? And, you know, of course, I'm, I'm dying inside and um, I'm thinking, whoa, and all sorts of things are, are, are going off in my brain. But take the blow is what I learned. And, and it's, it's what, Nicole, you were saying, paraphrase, because you want to really answer that question and you want to assume good intent. And even if it's not good intent, you still assume good intent. And so this is what I said. I can't believe I said it, but I said it. So let me see if I understand. You think it's a managerial issue, and if I manage my people better, I would not need these extra two head count. Is, did I get that right? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And if I'm going to contradict someone, I would definitely take the blow by paraphrasing. And then I said, it is not a managerial issue. It is a skill-based issue, and we have we do not have those skills on my team. And if we don't have those skills in my team, we will not meet the deadline. But I acknowledge the blow. Is this what you're saying? And so they don't tend to continue to talk about how bad of a manager I am. 
Yeah, that's a great example. I have to know. Did you get the head count? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Great, great story.